Hey guys, it is time for some more V6 shenanigans. We bought this VX Commodore out of a front yard, been sitting under a tree, missing two doors. We paid $500 for it and people think we got ripped off. Maybe we did. Who knows? Who's to say? But it has an L67 motor in it, which is the supercharged 3.8 litre V6. They are a tough, strong motor. A lot of people seem to disagree, but the facts are there. We know some people that are running some very decent numbers with some boost in these things. So we're going to yank this motor out, stick it in a VN Commodore, which is a lot lighter, and uh, it'll give it an instant horsepower boost, but still, we're going to boost it up even further and run some serious numbers. But at the moment, I want to yank this motor out, go for it, give it some rod bolts, head gaskets, head studs, a few other things, check its manifold gaskets, apparently they're a bit of a thing. So we'll go through this motor, get it on the stand, see what we're dealing with. But first, we get to yank it. Yank it hard. One thing I really love about late model Commodores is that you, to remove the bonnet is such a simple task. It's one bolt either side and then there's little registers here that help you lock the bonnet back into the same spot. So, you know, it's not hard to actually get the bonnet back to where it came from. So this is an airflow meter. We're probably not gonna use it on this setup in the VM. We're gonna set it up with a map system, but uh, yeah. I don't see the point in keeping that thing if we don't need it. It's just a restriction and a pain in the ass to tune. Is there a clip or something that holds these things in? Or? I don't think so, no. Just wondering if there was... Oh, yeah, there we go. Just needs a bit of... Oh, force. Alright. Done. Oh. So rather than having to unhook every wire off the engine, we'll just do it that way, make things easier. Okay, so we've got the exhaust, converter, gearbox. Mm, probably can leave the starter motor in position, we'll see. It's one.
So the plan is to use that engine, such as it is, but not that transmission. So the 4L60 that we've got from the wrecking yard is pretty much not needed now. So we're going to use the Turbo 700 out of the VN, strengthen it up a bit because it is a stronger box to start off with, and bolt it behind our supercharged 6. The beauty of that also is that it is a purely mechanical box. No electronics, so a lot easier to set up in the car. That is our plan. Gotta love power tools. So we're getting pretty close to pulling this thing out. Just gotta disconnect the fuel lines and there are like a press connect thing. So just gotta use this little sleeve to then push and release hopefully. Come on. There we go. That's that one. Handy little doobers. Alright, now we'll do this side. Same deal. Fuel lines done. That's all it is. All right, I think we have it all unhooked now. What a ball ache. Let's lift it out. Wow, that was painful. Okay, we are pretty much there. So what we're gonna to have to do is drop this down and then start removing all of this rubbish that's hanging off it. Man, there's some unnecessary stuff on this engine. We'll lean it down, get it ready for a VN. So I'm in the Carnage Workshop by myself today, so I'm going to take this opportunity to pull this engine down to where we need it. We want to give it head gaskets, head studs, rod bolts, uh, good intake gaskets, so it will handle whatever boost that we throw at it, and we're going to throw some boost at this thing. So, rather than me just yabber at you the whole time, I'm going to just pull it apart, start the time lapse.
So, there we have it. One L67 bottom end. It is filthy, yes. I mean, we're going to have to address some issues. There's no doubt about that. But 3.8 inch bore, 3.4 inch stroke, roller cam, cross bolted mains, heavy duty rods, dish pistons. It's got the basics of everything we need. Obviously, we need to tart up a few areas, give it some rod bolts, give it some head studs, give it some good gaskets. But these things do have some potential. Josh Grant, who runs at Drag Challenge, has done four drag challenges with the same bottom end. That car runs deep into the nines with an L67 bottom end with a turbo, and he puts 23 pounds of boost into it, 27 at the last drag challenge, deep into the nines, all right? It's got rod bolts, stock rods, stock pistons. So the potential is there, and we're going to need that potential to take on Zane's Barra. But you're going to see all that on the future episode of Carnage.